I mean, you're such a Devo fan too. Yeah, I'm. I'm obsessed with Devo, <laughs> especially when, when I was when I was like 15, 16. You know, I'm from the same town they're from. So they were kind of like, yeah, they're kind of like my heroes. You told me something about uh, stalking Mark Mothersbaugh. You knew he was in town. I'd been obsessed with Diva for like two years, and then they announced they were going to headline Lollapalooza. I think it was Lollapalooza 96 when it was still like traveling Oh, yeah. So uh, like Mark Mothersbaugh did an interview with the local paper, the Akron Beacon Journal, and uh, in the interview, he said he was going to stay with his, his parents when he was in town. <laughs> so, you know, I, I saw the article like, the day before the show and I, I couldn't go to the concert because I had to work I couldn't get off I was, I was told I would get fired if I uh, oh, if, wow. I, if I called off so I um I, I pulled the phone book out and like called every mother's ball <laughs> at, and I was like asking for Mark is Mark there and like everyone was like you know hanging up on me or saying no and finally um this older woman answered Are the really phone. that many mother's balls in There's the phone a lot. book There's really a lot yeah and they're all kind of related I think there's probably 12 in Akron. Wow. So I finally got to one and I, I, was like, I said, can I please speak to Mark? And the, this older woman who was his mom, I think, said, Marky, you have a telephone <laughs> call. He came and got on the phone and I was like, I'm sorry for bugging you home. Just a huge fan, whatever. And uh, he was really cool. We talked for a second and I, you know, was like told, I told all my friends like, oh man, I just called Mark Mothersbaugh on the phone. Like, he, it, was, it, it was crazy. And they're like, oh my God, you talked to Mark Mothersbaugh. We should go to his house. So we're like, <laughs> yeah, we should go to his house. So we just did, had gotten our license like that year. We were total idiots, and we drove to his house. That's so awesome. It, like we got there like at nine thirty at night or something, and we, it's like this long driveway. We pull up to the top of it, and uh, right when we get to the top, he comes walking out from the backyard. He comes right up to us. And he starts talking to us, and he's like really, really cool. And we talked. But did he in, did he know you guys were there to see him, he, or he yeah, just he, saw? A... He, he knew instantly that we were like teenagers who were Devo fans who <laughs> wanted to talk to him. He was really cool. And then his sister came out like after like we were talking for ten minutes, and was just like, "What's up, boogie boys? <laughs> oh, These spuds." Wow. She kept calling us spuds, and uh, we started <laughs> really getting embarrassed. Yeah, and we left, but it was awesome. I'm the 